Good morning. 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 Good morning, Ms. Patton. Good morning, all. Okay, so I will start right now. We will start correcting the quiz. You all did a very good job. And um, we're not allowed to chat. When I call you, you can unmute yourself to answer. Okay, so our quiz was about the reflection of light. We said that when light hits a smooth surface, it reflects, it changes its direction. Yala Ramo. Indicate what a capital letter R looks like if it's seen in a flat mirror. Which one is the picture, is the image of the letter R in a mirror? Is it A, B, C, or D? D. It's D. Excellent. So uh, the mirror, a flat mirror, gives us the same image, but it is reflected. So this one, this is the, the image of the letter R in a flat mirror. Zahra. Indicate where your yeah. face appears to be when you look in a flat mirror. So let's imagine you're looking in a mirror. If you yes. go far, an equal, an equal, yeah. Okay, so if you move in front, if you move in front of, of a mirror, the mirror will give you an image that is in an equal dis distance between the mirror and what you are in front. Okay, so that's what I said last time. Let's imagine this is a mirror and this is the object. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Miss, I didn't want you to have the quiz. It's okay, it's okay, dear. I know. I hope you feel, you're feeling better. This is the image. The distance between the object and the mirror should be equal to the distance between the mirror and the image. Okay? If this object moves, if it moves closer, the image will go closer. If it moves far, if it goes far of the mirror, the image also will change its place. So it's always uh, the same distance between the object and the mirror and the mirror and the image. Okay? Yala okay. Yusuf. Good job, Zahra. Yala Yusuf, we have these four diagrams of reflection. Which one of them is the correct one? D. D is the correct one. Now I'm talking with all of you. I'm talking with all of you. 
what's the problem of the first diagram? Why is diagram A false? Miss, because, because the uh, angle of the left one is, they said it was uh, reflected. This is wrong, it's the other ray. That's Incident. why the rays are false, okay? Always the rays that hit the surface, the ray that goes down on the mirror is the incident ray and not the reflected ray, okay? So this is the ray going down on the mirror and they're saying that this ray is um, the reflected ray, this is wrong. So they switched the rays. This should be, the first one should be the incident ray, the second one should be the reflected ray. What's the problem with diagram B? I'm talking with all of you also. What's the problem with diagram B? The rays are correct, but the angles are wrong. Excellent, Yalana. The rays are correct. Yeah, they switched the, the angles. Ray. And this is the reflected ray, bravo. Bravo, Rama and Lan. They switched the angles. Excellent. What about diagram C? Why is diagram C false? They said that uh, reflected There is no the normal and reflected ray. This is the normal. Yeah. The normal and the reflected This one is the reflected ray. Excellent job, dear ones. So this one is the correct diagram of reflection. We have the incident ray going down on the mirror. We have this reflected ray. It bounces off the mirror. Here we have the normal, the angle of incidence, and the angle of reflection. Great job. It's D. Yalayatala. Yalayatala. Here we have an angle. This angle is between the incident ray and the mirror. Tell me, what's the measure of the angle of incidence? Which answer is correct? Forty over fifty. Which angle of incidence? Yes. Forty angle of reflection fifty. Okay, so is it answer one, two, or three? Which one is correct? One. One. So you think, Yatala, do you think, Yatala, that the angle of incidence is different than the angle of reflection? Is this the law of uh, reflection? This is not correct. Yeah, I'll give you another chance. The angle of incidence must be equal to the angle of reflection. So which answer is correct? The last one. The last one, bravo Yatala. The last one is the correct one. Since the angle of incidence must be equal to the angle of reflection. Yeah, now I'm also talking yeah, with they need all to be of you. How do we calculate okay. the angle of incidence? What should I do first? What should I do? How we what? How do we calculate? How do we measure the angle of incidence? First, you need to draw a normal. To draw the normal. Good job. I normal. should draw a normal. So we can take it. It's too down. Okay. Here is a normal. It's perpendicular to the mirror. Then, where is the angle of incidence? 
which one is the angle of incidence? Which one is the angle of incidence? 50 and of reflection, uh, 50. We said it, but how, where, where do I find? Where do I find the angle of incidence? Where is it? It's between what and what? Incidence well, and normal. Between the 40 yeah. and the normal. It's normal. this one. It's between the normal yes. and the angle of incidence. How do we calculate it? It's equal to what? It's equal to the reflection. It's equal to the reflected ray. But now, what's the measure of the angle of incidence? How do I know? If this, this one, is, if this one is 40, 40, this one should be how much? 40. This is 40 also? 50. How did you know that this is 50? How do you know that this is 50? To measure it. Then we need to measure it. Measure it? Okay, look, 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 dear ones. The normal and the mirror are perpendicular to each other. So from here to here, it's equal to 90 degrees. From here to here, it's equal to 90. Taib, is that this angle took 40? How much will this measure? How do we calculate it? What do I do? 90 minus 40 equals 40. 50 degrees. 50. 50 degrees. Because I will repeat the angle from the normal to the mirror, all of this angle. Can you see it? All of it, this is equal to 90. Yes. yes. This is equal to 90. Tayyib, is that this side took 40? Hey, the Adebib Allah, I should. Subtract 90 minus 40. So this angle is equal to 50 degrees. So this is correct. The angle of incidence must be equal to the angle of attraction. So 50 came in. Did we all get this? Should I repeat? Did we all get this, guys? Do you want me to redo it? Do you want yes. me to repeat? Yes. Let me oh. do it. Okay. We draw a normal. First of all, we draw a normal. Then we know that from this, from the normal to the mirror, all of this is equal to 90. This is equal to 90 degrees. Okay. This angle took 40 degrees. So there will be 50 degrees left to this one. 50 degrees left to this side. 50 okay. plus 40 will give us 90. Yalla Lamar. Indicate the type of mirror shown in the figure. Here is the object. And here is its image. Flat, convex, or concave. Miss me? Yes. Here is the object and its image. The image is smaller than the object. So, which type of mirror is this? Convex. Convex. Perfect. Convex mirrors give 
a smaller image of the object. يلا علي الرضا حمود. علي الرضا حمود. Last question. Where are oh. concave mirrors used? That means the mirrors that gives us that give us a bigger. Boy, turn. Yes. Boy, turn. By dentists. Bravo, ya Ali. Bravo, ya Ali. So, in stores, we use convex images. In cars, we use convex images. But dentists use convex mirrors just to give a bigger image of what's happening inside the mouth of the teeth. That's all about the reflection. You know now. <laughs> that when an incident ray hits a mirror, this one is a mirror. I always forget to annotate, but you know it. This is the mirror. When an incident ray hits a mirror and we need to draw the reflected ray, we'll start by drawing a normal in the point of incidence. Here is the normal that is perpendicular to the Mirror. Here is the normal. We need to measure the angle of incidence. The angle of incidence is always between the normal and the incident ray. In this case, it's equal to 60 degrees. So from the other side of the normal, we should draw a 60 degrees angle. Here is 60. We connect the point of incidence with the point that we just drew, drew. Here is the reflected ray with an angle of reflection equal to the angle of incidence. That's the law of reflection. The angle of reflection must, must always be equal to the angle of incidence. They are equal to each other. That's what happens in the yes, have a that... question. Yes, dear. Yes, I'm listening. Who is this, Hadi? Yes, I'm listening. How do you know if the uh, angle of the of the should be here and the entity that should be here. Okay, look. As I said, the angle of incidence is the one going down on the mirror. This is incidence. It's the one going down on the mirror. Okay? And oh. then the angle of, of reflection is the one that goes up. Okay. Let's do this because most of you asked me this question. Yeah. The green line is the mirror, okay? I will draw three mirrors. Yalla, I'm talking with all of you now. You need to tell me which, um, which ray am I, am I drawing now? What is this? Is it the reflected ray? Or the incident the incident, the incident ray. The reflected ray. Thank you, Yalana. Bravo, Yalana. This is the reflected ray. It goes off. It bounces off the mirror. It goes away from the mirror. I'll draw another one. Yeah. This reflected or um, incident? Reflected. Reflected. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. What about this? Reflected. Okay. This one. Incident. Incident. This is incident. Bravo. What about this one? 
Incident. 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 Okay, this one. Incident. 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 Just because you're going down, down no, it's all This way. one. When you go up. <laughs> reflected. 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 This one. Incident. 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 Okay, so this one. Incident. 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 Is this clear for everyone now? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you Miss, so much. Miss, we don't care if the incident in the right in, in right and the reflected in the left. That's we why. just care about the error. That's right, that's right. Bravo, Yalana. We do not care if it was at if it's the going right down side up. or at the left side. We just look at the arrow. So the, the, um, the ray going down, hitting the mirror, is the incident ray. The one bouncing off the mirror is the reflected ray. Um, the image... Between, the image of an object in a flat uh, mirror should be equal and it looks exactly like the object it's upright everything is the same and always and also the distance between the object and the mirror is equal to the distance between the mirror and the object but the only difference is that it is reversed it's reversed from left to right we have three types of mirrors flat mirrors that give this, an image of the same size as the object. Concave mirrors, they give a bigger image of the object, as you can see right here. The image of the hand that is, is bigger than the hand itself. Okay. While convex mirrors, they are usually mm -hmm. used for security reasons. So they give a smaller image of uh, the object. Okay, today to we will see talk about everything what's something. going on. That's right. To see everything. Bravo, Yalana. So, today we will start something else. Okay, so uh, they tried to send light to a mirror. They noticed that light reflects. Now, they sent light to a glass. They noticed that glass is a transparent medium light can pass through but there is something weird happening when light hits the glass and passes through it the light does not continue Bend. it doesn't continue its uh, straight direction it doesn't continue in a straight way it bends it breaks it goes in a different way. Let me change the color right here. It changes its way. So the light does not continue its path. It changes it. And also, look, again, when the light leaves the glass, it doesn't continue it in a straight way also. This does not happen. It breaks again. It breaks again. So they noticed when the light passes from the air to the glass, it changes its direction. Yes, it can pass through glass since glass is a transparent medium, but it bends, it changes its direction. And also when light passes from the glass to the air, it bends, it, <coughs> sorry, it changes its direction. So light rays bend, they move their way when they move from one medium to another, like from air to glass, from glass to air, and also when it moves from air to water. Look, we have here an incident. We have here an incident ray. Did it continue its way straightly? Did it, did it continue this way? Did this happen? No, no, this did not happen. We can see that no. there is it bends. Reflection. It bends. It changes its ways. Look, it went 
it changes a bit its ways. That's what we call refraction. Refraction happens when light moves from one place to another, like from, from air to water, or from air to glass, or again from glass to air. Yes. But what if the uh, was going through not the air in the space? There's no oxygen. The glass. It's the same medium. It's the same place. Yes. It doesn't change its way. If there is nothing, if there is nothing, the light lay will continue its way. Look, there is nothing. It will continue straightly. If, if the light and the glass were in the space, no air, no oxygen, the same. But don't you know that there is empty spaces in the space and the light rays um, arrive to Earth in a straight way? Because there is nobody to stop it. Nothing to stop the light ray. Bravo. What's the difference between reflection and refraction? Look. Reflection. Okay, I did not check yeah. this. Anyway. Reflection. So I did a mistake. Look. Reflection is when light bounces okay. off a surface. This is correct. Heidi Anna, I wrote it correctly. It's when light bounces off a surface. So we have a beam of light going down on a mirror. It changes its direction. Okay? Here, this is not correct. Okay. It's when light it changes its way. So this is Miss Fatten's mistake. Imkin, I was hungry when I wrote this. This is wrong. <laughs> refraction, <laughs> is, refraction is when the light changes its way when it passes from a place to another. So this was going, okay, I'll change this. This was going down this way and then it did not continue in a straight way. It bends a bit. It changes its direction. Also, this is going this way. It changes its direction. And here. It's going straight. Um, okay, let me tell you something. This is, you don't need to know it now. But uh, when it goes in the middle, it continues its way in a straight way. Okay, forget about this. You don't need to know this now. You will uh, you will learn it in high in higher grades. Okay. A light ray goes. Okay. Miss, we can learn it today. <laughs> it's okay. It changes its direction. This is refraction and reflection. I think I can show you another. Picture is showing the difference between reflection and refraction. Okay. Let's compare reflection and refraction. Here is the incident ray with the angle of incidence. Okay, the incident ray and the reflected ray are in the same place. They are in the same place. The angle of incidence must be equal to the angle of reflection. The angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. And here we have the reflected ray bouncing off the surface. 
So I think you know what's reflection and the law of reflection. This is clear. What about a refraction? Look, in refraction, light passes from a place to another place. Light passes from a medium to another medium. I should change the color. So the incident ray is in. Where is the incident ray? In which medium? In which place? Where is the incident ray? Miss, what did you say? Up. Up. Where is the incident ray? The incident ray? Miss, no. no. which picture? In the air? It's in the air, thank you. The and air. where is the reflect refracted ray? In the water. In the water. In the water. They are not in the same place. Oh. They oh, are not the in the word. same place. Sure. Okay. The incident ray is an, is in a medium. The refract refracted ray is another is in another medium. The angle of incident of a refraction can be smaller or bigger than the angle of refraction. Or bigger. Okay. Uh. Okay, this is not working. Time. Why are we studying? Why are we talking about refraction? Well, yeah. it's because sometimes in the water or in the glass, we see, we see things as broken. Look at the spoon, it looks like if it was broken, the straw also, it doesn't look straight. So what, what's happening? Miss, also, Miss Roy, also look, if we are standing in the pool, we look broken. That's right. Even if we are standing in the pool, we look broken. So what's happening? I will explain you, Ali. Ali, we have this pencil, OK? This pencil is in water. Yes. OK? We see light because objects send, reflect light to our eyes, okay? So um, this pencil sends light to our eyes. This pencil reflects light to our eyes. This pencil reflects yes, light so we can to see our it. eyes. This pencil reflects light, but look here, there is water. Okay, here there is water. So, light changes its direction a little bit. It doesn't continue it in a different way. Direction. It goes a little bit in a different direction. It changes its way. Yes, That's I why. I just try it right now. Really? Show us, show your friends. Let's see. Show us your video. Excellent. Wow, yeah, Lana, wow. So everyone, can you see Lana's videos? The pencil looks bent. Excellent, yeah, Lana, bravo. So the pencil looks- The head of the pencil so it looks like- That's right. Thank you so much, Yalana. Excellent activity. So why does this happen? This happens because of refraction. Okay? This happens because of refraction. Thank you so much, Yalana. Thank you. So objects send light to our eyes. Okay, this pencil wanted to uh, reflect right to our eyes, but this is the reflect this is the reflected way. It changes its way. For this reason, we see the pencil as broken. I'll show you a few other examples. 
as you can, I still have. But also the straw. The straw, everything, everything in water will look different, will look uh, as broken. Okay, we have two types of lenses. Look at this video, I'll use this one. Okay, I will stop it right here. If you need to watch the whole video, you uh, you can go to the science lecture video, but I need to explain. We have two types of lenses to explain refraction. Okay, convex lenses, they have thin edges. So look, they are small, they are thin. In this side, they are thin at the edges and they are fat in the middle. They are fat from here and thin at the edges, okay? Concave lenses, they are fat at the edges, but they are thin in the middle and they act in a different way. When a light, when an incident, when an incident ray hits, when incident rays hits the uh, convex lenses, this lens will bring them all together. Okay, so it brings refracted rays uh, closer to each other. The concave lens does, uh, does the opposite thing. It puts the refracted rays far away. Okay? So convex lenses together, closer to each other, concave lenses far away from each other. Here are the first examples to explain refraction. Here is a stick in the water. It will look broken because the stick sends light to our eyes. Here are the, the rays sent. They will bend, they will refract. So the stick will look broken. The stick appears to be bent. Here is a pencil in the water. Again, here is the actual, the real position of the pencil. But here is what we see. The pencil appears to be bent, broken, because uh, the rays are bent. Okay, I still need to show you the lenses. Here is a convex lens. It gives a smaller image. The concave lens make things, makes things appear bigger. And that's it. We still have almost less than one minute. Thank you for... Thank you for joining me. I was happy that you were all here. If you have any questions, you have less than one minute. Go. You're welcome. You can make a no, I don't have any questions. Any. Each of us. Uh, can we put any mirror? To science is this? my favorite session. Thank you, Yelana. Mirrors, yani reflection. Glasses and lenses, yani refraction.